in previous videos, I, you see me using a uh, Allen wrench that's been adapted to a holder to. Uh, these are actually uh, motor mount screws, and they're uh, Allen. Uh, they have an Allen head on them. That way, I can hold them like that. I can just drive them in. I don't have to sit there and try to get a Phillips head started in there. Kind of hard sometimes. And if you watched, I actually. Um, chuck that into a drill periodically to speed it up. But I just thought I'd show you how I make these. It's pretty simple really. Because all you have to do is get yourself a dowel rod and a piece of uh, tubing. Now the tubing I used here actually came off of um, it's the bigger part of this uh, uh, light fixture, outdoor light fixture. You get a a lot of these, they last about two years and then they're shot. Throw them away, get new ones. Well, I always save the, the tubing. That's actually stainless steel. And the only hang up with that is, is that the only way to cut those is with the cutoff tool and uh, a Dremel tool. Now, if you use brass, you can cut that with a simple hacksaw or brass, actually, you can cut with your, habit, your hobby saw. Well, then you want to take and you find a piece of tubing that will go over top of your, a dowel, the size that you want to use. Usually I think that's about a 5 16 there. And basically you have to get it to fit the tubing that you've got. All right. Now I take and I, I force a Allen wrench down in there. And when I get it down in there, I get it square as I want it. I take and I just take and take my Dremel tool cutoff wheel and I cut it off flush with the uh, uh, dowel. Now that's basically 90% of it. The other 10% of it is 5 minute epoxy. Okay. A little chilly out here in the garage tonight. It's moving pretty slow. Now this particular one that I'm building now is a 1 16th inch. Now, for a lot of your American screws, you'll find that the 1 16th is going to be perfect. You get out in the hobby shop and you buy a, a, a small screw that requires an Allen wrench. Like it's not, it's going to be a 1 16th. It's half of the wheel uh, collars and stuff like that are 1 16th. Now, when you get into anything from overseas, you're going to find out that that's one and a half millimeter. Really close. Fact is, you'll probably end up um, trying to fit that one sixteenth into that one half millimeter more than once. I know I have. And then you have to resort to something else. Now I spread this out a little bit because that's going to grip the sides of the metal tubing. Okay, now I got that slot pretty well filled in there. All right. Oops. Now I'm going to screw this in on there like that. I'm trying to get as much of that epoxy in there as I can. Bring that up flush. Wipe off the excess epoxy off the end here. Otherwise, it's going to be sticky at you. All right. Okay. Make sure that's as straight as you can get it in there. If it isn't quite perfectly straight, that's all right. You'd be surprised. It works out pretty good. That's basically one of the tools. Now I can cover color the tip a little bit to give me an idea of what I want. This particular one's 1 16th. This is a 1 16th. I was going to make a, a one and a half millimeter, but couldn't find an Allen wrench. And that's my biggest problem is misplaced the Allen wrenches. Now, I got if I figure if I have enough of them, I'll be able to find one. Uh, keep getting telephone calls from people saying, Hey, John, you left your, left your Allen wrench out at the field and I put it somewhere. Da -da -da -da. But we've all done, worked with these 
uh, little stoppers, linkage stopper that takes a one and a half millimeter. Now, other tools I can't do without. One of them is my magnetic screwdriver. This is a P1 size Phillips. Now that holds the screw because this is magnetic. Holds the screw in there, and basically, I can just run that screw in there, in and out with it. Without fun, one trying to do it with your little fingers doesn't work. Um, of course, when you got it on there, you got a little uh, blue uh, Loctite. You dip it into blue Loctite, run it in, it stays there. It's good. It's a nice and easy job. Anything other other than that is pretty frustrating. Uh, I'm sure all of you have uh, resorted to the, the hex wrench multiple key here. Trying to get that into a model is like nightmare. Now if you have time to watch how I make these things here, these cutters for hinge for hinges, do it. I think it'll pay off for you. I think that's about it. Gonna let that dry. What I do with it, here it is. Set it on something so that the epoxy don't run all over the place. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.